Whoop whoop, scribbles the juggalo. And I'm gonna do a video, and I'm winging it here. I've had no prior thought about what I'm gonna say. Um, I just have an idea here, and, and if it goes well, I'll put it on. If it doesn't, I won't put it on. But anyway, I thought I would do a video talking about when I met, when Magnet and I met DJ Clay and Twisted. And basically, it was like, you know, I love these guys. Uh, everyone, every psychopathic artist from Psychopathic Records. I love the motherfuckers, man. You know, they're talented, and I respect what they do, how hard they work, and their music is awesome, and it's funny, and it's brought a lot of joy and pleasure in my life. For almost 13, 15 years, I've been listening to this shit, and, and I love it. So when we, to, so to actually meet these guys, some of these guys, I mean, it's a real treat. Now, I never met Jay or Shaggy, and for, let me tell you about, about that. Like when the Wraith came out, the final Joker's card, they did this tour where they had this big fucking semi. And it was like a little fun house. Like you'd, you'd enter the, the beginning of it and go through this little maze. And I, I, I never was in it, but I heard about it. And there's some weird lights and shit. And it showed the, I think it showed some Joker's cards. And at the, in the back of it, at the very end of it, of the semi, there would be Jay and Shaggy at a table, and they would sign your shit, your fucking CDs, or poster, or whatever, and you'd get, get to meet them. Now, they, they did this tour to pr promote the Wraith album. This is right before the, the second part, Hell's Pit, came out. It was the Wraith, and it was the Heaven and Hell album. And then, uh, bef and then Hell's Pit came out. But So anyway, it came, like... This tour, they're traveling, did a major tour. They weren't playing any shows. They're just fucking, um, you know, setting this semi up at, at record stores. It was an independent, um, in, in color strings, but they were delayed overnight. So I stood in line. Magnet and I stood in line for fucking all motherfucking day. And the weather, the first part of the the weather was fucking beautiful. I think. Mm -hmm. and the first day. And, and they got delayed. They were do, doing like a mountain town, like Vail or something, doing a signing up in Vail or some weird shit. And they got delayed in the mountains because it started snowing because it was like around Thanksgiving. And they got delayed. So after waiting all day in line, um, I didn't get in. Uh, they, they, this Australian dude who was running shit, sounded like he was Australian, didn't he, Magnet? He had some weird accent. All right, they've been delayed. Sorry, Juggalos. You guys are going to have to come back tomorrow. So get a number or whatever, and then come back tomorrow. We, we didn't get no numbers, did we? No. Did you even get in? You're, you didn't get in either, did you? Or, okay. So then the second day, I fucking, we waited in line for a long-ass time and saw Jay a couple of times. You know, from like 50 feet away, he'd peek his head out the fucking tour bus uh, and, and wave to the crowd. And and um, they worked their asses off. They signed a lot of shit and shook a lot of hands. But So I finally get to the front of line after like another seven hours. This is two days of waiting in line to see, to meet Violent J and Shaggy. And I finally get to the front. And this Australian dude says, well, do you have a number? I think it was like five hours. It wasn't like seven hours. Second day, it was like five hours. I was like, no, I don't have a number. What are you supposed to have a number? Like, wh what are you talking about number? I waited in line all day yesterday and all day today. Uh, you know, I'm in line. I'm right here. You see me. Let me in. No, you can't come in. And they turned us down. And I was pissed about that for a long time. I'm still pissed about it when I think about it. Aren't you, Magnet? All because of some fucking dick. They, you know. Like, what the fuck? What a fucking dick. So anyway, never got to meet Jay and Shaggy. And then we go to the gathering, and it's hotter than fuck. And 
like to get in the autograph tent, like I don't want to stand in the sun like fucking five hours, seven hours, ten hours just to meet them and shake their hand, you know, and, and get a picture with them. I mean, I love them and, and, I'll, and I'll see them at concert and shit, but I don't care to spend my whole day at the gathering to stand in the hot sun just to get a picture. I'm not, when I meet celebrities, I'm not all about pictures and autographs anyway. What is that? That that moment in time is gone. Once you've met them, you know, it's gone. Who, who gives a fuck about a piece of paper, you know? It, it just makes people jealous anyway. Look what I have. I, I met so-and-so. Look what I have, you know? No one gives a fuck. No one wants to see that shit anyway, and I've learned that over the years. So anyway, so let me get back to uh, Clay and uh, Twisted. So we were, do, we were seeing... Uh, we were, what camp, what college campus? It was like Yale or Har it was Yale U University, which is a really prestigious elite college in Connecticut. Very weird place. It was like fr the Frog Bar, tiny little venue, and it was a Dark Lotus show. The Opaque Brotherhood, Toad's Place, Toad's place. tiny ass venue, and I'm all painted up and shit. And we're, it's literally on campus in the middle of, of all these fucking really rich, preppy motherfuckers. Hardly any jugglos. A couple of them showed up. A uh, really small turnout. <clears throat> I mean, it was a good-sized show for, for a bar, but the real show was the next night, which was the fucking, was uh, the Palladium in Worcester, Mass. Worcester, Massachusetts is the best place, the Palladium, to see a fucking ICP show. And if you ever get a chance to see that shit, go do it. Because it's like, it's better than the Ogden. It's like three three times the size of the Ogden. And everybody's painted up and everyone is so loyal. And it's just hardcore juggalo experience. And I love it. So anyway, so we're, so I'm sitting, we showed up really early. I think I took some Viking in or some shit. I'd been taking Viking in for a couple of days because I had back pain and I ran out and I took my last four Viking in and then, um, I don't know why I'm talking about that, but my back started to hurt. But anyway, so, um, so this dude, I, I didn't, I mean, I'd never had seen DJ Clay much, but I loved the fucking Fuck Off album, the second one Shaggy did, and uh, Fuck the Fuck Off. Brilliant album. I think DJ Clay like did all the beats on that shit, and, and I really loved it. And that's like to me, that's some of Shaggy's best work. And um, I, and this and this was right at Opaque Brotherhood, so DJ Clay was still fairly new. So um, um, Clay um, this dude comes out, and he just looked like an ordinary dude. He walks over, and, and hardly anyone recognized him. I think one juggler recognized him. There's only like four or five of us standing around anyway. And I'm like, uh, uh, someone says, that's DJ Clay. I'm like, oh, holy shit, that's DJ Clay. So I got a picture with him. And I think that shit's on one of my videos, my ABK video, where I got an ABK song. And I show some pictures uh, where I met DJ Clay. But anyway, um, but he was cool as fuck. And I got the picture with him. And, and he, he uh, you know, gave me daps and all that. But, um, <clears throat> so we hung around a little bit longer, and who the fuck do we see is fucking Jamie Madrox, uh, the fat one, not the skinny Madrox now, because he was fat back then, and he, he's with this fucking big black dude, kind of like this dude's like a security guard, right? Mm -hmm. And he's cool as fuck, man, and, and, and they are so cool, like, they'll talk to jugglers, as long as they ain't being fucking swarmed, and, and a million motherfuckers are, ain't all up in their faces, and, and, and wanting them to sign a bunch of shit, they're just laid back, and they hang, they hang out for a while, and he's just chilling, and, and he makes a comment in my homie, Magnus Pants, because he had weed pants on, and he says, I know what those pants are, and, and he makes a comment about, about Magnus weed pants, and so, um, I didn't say much to him. I think I said, I love you guys. And he says, thanks or something. I, don't even, I didn't even get a picture with Madrox. I think I freaked him out. He's thinking I'm nuts or something. I'm good at freaking people out, uh, especially celebrities. I think I scare them, don't I? Okay. But anyway, Monoxide. So I, I'm sitting on the ground waiting like hours in line. for. I mean, we're there like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. This concert ain't until 8 o'clock. And I'm all high on Viking and shit. 
And I'm sitting there, and I look over, just standing in front of the tour bus, and, and I did a double take, like Blaze, you know. Whoop, 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 whoop. And, I look, and I go, that's fucking monoxide. That's Paul, the other motherfucker from Twisted. There's that motherfucker. That's him. And this other juggalo, like, didn't recognize him, and I say, I said, dude, that's fucking Paul. And he's like, really? And he runs up, and I'm like, dude, just calm down. Just give him space. Don't run up. But he runs up and fucking gets in his face and starts harassing him and shit, not, you know, just being a pester in him and shit. I was like, why am I telling that? So anyway, I waited, and I kept looking at him. And I waited. I finally went over there. And, you know, if I had time to think about, what, you know, what, what am I going to say to these fuckers? I would have had a better question. What am I going to say to Paul? But, of course, I did the obvious shit, you know, which I heard, heard they, they get tired of these same questions. I talked about tattoos. I showed them my twisted tattoo. And I, and I said, and I had a story, like, see, th this girl fucking in Florida, um, she fucking, not, th she didn't do this tattoo, but she did the violent J on my leg. And, and I, and it's, it, it's all fucked up, and it looks like shit. And and the only reason I let her do this tattoo is she swears. She says, I tattooed Twisted, and I hung out with them on their tour bus, and I tattooed them all day. And she gave me this long story about how well she knew them, and she hung out with them on their tour bus. <laughs> so I asked Paul. I sh First, I showed him this work. I said, uh, you know, check out this tattoo, man. This is Twisted. I love you guys. And I showed him all the eyes and shit because there's eyeballs and there's faces all up in it. It's some really good work. And um, I said, did you guys, what was the name of that chick in Florida? Pixie. Have you guys, did you guys get tatted, get any tattoos done by this girl named Pixie in Key West, Florida? And Paul says, no. No bitch, no. He says, no bitch has ever tattooed me. And I was kind of surprised. I was like, what? Are you sure you never got tattooed by this chick named Pixie? Because she said that she tattooed you guys. And he said it again. No. No bitch has ever tattooed me, is what Paul said. So the bit, the fucking woman lied, right, just to get me to get get a tattoo and give, give, the, give her some fucking money. And she did a terrible job, man. This fucking shit. Look, if you look at this fucking shit. Look at this motherfucker, dude. Like, look at it. First of all, first of all, violent J. Look how the, the fucking, there's no separation with the word violent and J. The, the letter J should be down a little further. further. It shouldn't be like one word, violent J. And then, it's just, it's just shitty fucking work, man. But anyway, that's basically all I said to Paul. And that, that's my story, meeting DJ Clay, Paul, and Jamie Madrox. And I kind of walked away like, sorry. I kind of walked away like, more pissed at, at this girl Pixie. Like, what a fucking lying bitch, you know? Made me look like a fool. I, I was hoping that she really did meet him. And then, then I'd show her, I'd go, yeah, this bitch, I got a tattoo by this girl that ta I. You know, I know Pixie. She tattooed me, too. And then I, I would have had something to talk to him about. Instead, I walked away looking like an idiot, you know. And probably freaked him out and scared him, too. But anyway, that's all. That's my story. Meeting DJ Clay and Jamie Madrox and Paul Monoxide from Twisted. Whoop, whoop. I'm Scribble the Juggalo.